¿Cómo no estás? Okay, perfect. So the first thing that you are gonna do is um you're going is that music too loud? It is a little loud over top of you talking here. Is it? Okay. Uh, is that better? Or is it still a little loud? It turned you down. It turned me down? Maybe not. Maybe it's just my ears. Hold on. Okay. Say something else. Uh, I'm saying other things <laughs> right now. That's better, yes. Okay. Because I can turn it down even more if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Just to make sure. Because I already have an <laughs> issue hearing. Okay. All right. Um, perfect. All Beautiful. Right. So the first thing we're going to do with our pen. There it is. We're going to wet um, your largest brush. So I'm using the number eight, my trusty go-to. There we go. There, it's focusing now. Um, and it's also a number eight. It's just a flat one. Well, that also works. And then about a third of the way up on your paper, uh -huh. we're going to create like just an uneven line. Kind of make it like look like hills kind of thing. And then we're just going to wet the entire top part. Like really wet? Yes. Okay. Like make that paper glisten. The top or the bottom? The top. Shit. <laughs> oh no. I went the wrong way. <laughs> we'll just try it. We're good. All right. Yeah. Take two. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Have you done anything with the coven lately? No, they've been pretty much closed to themselves when, um, since the pandemic started. I did a couple virtual, but um, I'm not technically a member. Oh, okay. So I have not seen them since the pandemic started. Which is like really weird, but like, is what it is. Yeah. That's for sure. You mostly practice by yourself, right? I do, yes. I am a lone witch. <laughs> But I'd say the majority of my practice is honestly um, like yoga. Like I have okay. a daily uh, yoga practice that really keeps me going through and journaling. Those are like my two heavy hitters. Okay. I did um, create an elemental altar, which was fun because we kept on experiencing a lot of elemental chaos in our house and before we moved, especially. Um, and I was like, mm, gonna like actually put those guys, um, give them a task to accomplish around my house. <laughs> okay, so once all of your papers wet, are you there right now? Your majority of your papers all wet. Oh, I think Kate is frozen. Hi. 
Oh, now I can't hear I you. Muted. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I was muted. Hi, you're back. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Okay, so how is your paper looking? Nice and soaked, wet. Yep, fur to wet. Perfect. Okay, so you can choose to do whatever colors you want in your sky. Um, I would limit it to about three or four, just um, okay. So it looks better, but I really like the way that mine is going right now. Um, do I want to change it up a bit? Hmm, this raises a good question now. Um, I really dig yours. Okay. So, like, you have what? Green, yellow, blue, and purple? Yes, and like the brightest of those colors that you could get. Right. I think I am going to do the same because I'm really enjoying these colors. But I really want to add pink into there somewhere. I was going to say, I think I'd like some red or pink in mine. Um, yeah. I was trying to okay. find a Northern Lights picture to like look at. So I think I'd probably um, just make the green shorter, like smaller on this side, and then go into the blue and then the purple and add the pink in this top corner as well. Okay. That feels like a decent transition. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so then grab the brightest yellow that you could possibly grab. Which brush that. are you using? Still your eight? I'm still using the number eight, yep. Okay. This is so a by, big by bright of yellow, would I pick this bright yellow? Notice I have terrible lighting. This yes, bright yellow um, or the, the highlighter one. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And then we are going to create just a diagonal line. Are you just going straight from your yellow? Yep. I want you as want much it. color here as I can get. Okay. Is this Haley Reinhardt? Um, it's Postmodern Jukebox. So it, it must be, yes. Yeah, I think so. She sings with them a lot. And then I'm grabbing a lime green. The limiest green that you have. Okay. And I'm going right next to it. But I'm leaving a little bit of um, white space in between to like allow the colors just to kind of bleed together. Okay. And then I'm going with the brightest blue in my palette. I'm gonna go into that corner. And then on the other side, I am going to add more of that green, but I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna kind of do one of these. We just, um, at the moment, we just wanna put our color down and then we'll start uh, mixing them up after. And I'm gonna grab that blue again. And this time that blue is going to touch the ground but not go all the way into the sky, the very top. Um, and then I'm gonna grab a purple. I think I'm gonna have to mix the purple. Oh, I do have a purple. Which purple are you using? Do I have like a lilac or a violet? A v I'm using the violet. For me, it's all the way in the upper left-hand corner. Okay. Which is a weird placement for purple, but I might in my bottom left here. Okay, yeah, I guess it all depends on um, how it's turned. Yeah, 
And then I am grabbing that super, super, super bright pink. All right. Like that bubblegum pink. Do you listen to postmodern a lot? Um, I don't. It's usually like my go-to when I don't when I need like something calm and I don't really know entirely what everyone listens to in the group. Oh, okay. I feel I feel like it's a pretty safe option. I agree with that. I dig it. Um we listen to it a lot of times because uh Casey Abrams sings with them sometimes. Okay. And plays bass. And then um, Haley Reinhardt. We're big fans of both of theirs. They were on American Idol together. So. Oh, nice. Okay. So now that we got it, all the paper or all the colors in the paper, I'm going to take a wet, clean brush and I'm just going to add blobs of, color, of just paint between them all and just kind of let them do their own thing. Blobs of paint or blobs of water? Just blobs of water. Okay. And I really want like a clean, untouched area right here, which is why I'm lifting it up. Where at? Like uh, right here. Okay. But other than that, I'm just kind of going in and moving stuff around, blending it together. Oops. Sorry. And I believe we're going to do a second coat of this too, so. Oh, that's looking cool. Um, I'm going to add more purple. So I'm kind of just now adding in more color where I want to see it. So I'm, I just added in more purple, but I'm also going to add in more blue and I'm going to purposefully touch them together. Okay. And then like do a whole mixy mixy thing with them. And I think what I'm going to do, you, you, um, on your palette where there is the lime green underneath it, there should be like this nice bright one. Yes. Um, I'm going to add that into like the base down here. Okay. And I'm going to wet a second brush with just water and kind of just dab it and let it do its thing. I'm still, I'm going to add that into the sky a bit as well. How are you liking it so far, Kate? Love it. We've got some Yay. cooling happening in places, but right. I have some cool stuff happening now. Kind 
How do you like the pink in there? I dig it. It's almost like uh, this. The oh, the words. Hold on. The northern lights are happening while like the sun setting or something. Right. I really like this. Um, this bleeding I'm having happening over here too. That's kind of cool. Yes, your blue there is is beautiful. I love how that's doing that. Now we kind of just wait, allow everything to dry. So you only went like halfway across with that dark green, right? Correct. Yes. I only went to the yellow. I just want to like peek through the trees. Right, right. So this is a wet on wet um, technique we used because we wet down our paper and then we grabbed like wet pigment and threw it on top and it bled. So that technique is a wet on wet. Okay. Did you end up journaling the other day? Uh, I did not. I came in and went to bed. Hey, that's and okay. That's what I did. <laughs> um, and then as I laid in bed, I thought, I was like, I really should write. And then I calmed out. And then, um, so my practice is usually I try to meditate and set intentions for the next day and such at bedtime, like when I'm laying in bed. Because I usually go to bed by myself, and then Chad comes in an hour or two later, depending on what time I go to bed. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the only time I have by myself, unless I get up early and I'm not a morning person. So, um, <laughs> so I lay in bed at night, and uh, I actually have um, Matt or Matt is it Matt Oren, the psychic witch? Oh yeah, yeah. That I have been slowly making my way through uh certainly not as fast as i would like and i'm not practicing the you know assignments i guess is what i'll call them uh like i should but i'll get there eventually do you like it i do i like it quite a bit so far that's good um there's a lot of oh what's the word i don't even remember like a, like things to do like, oh, like uh, like exercises kind of thing. Yes, exercises. Thank you. Activities, um, which is not always ideal because when I want to lay down and read and learn, it's like I'm laying in bed and I want to read and learn yep. and not sitting there like ready to partake in exercises. And so that's about the only thing I, I would say that I don't love about it, but it's not that I don't love the exercises because they're probably great. I just don't choose the time to read it. Right. <laughs> I think Joshua read it too. And then he gave it to my brother, I think, who I don't think has ever opened it. He said it was very like, um, like baby witch 101 stuff. It is. It is a lot of that. And I am still a baby witch, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess I've been a practicing witch now for three years, but... You've learned a thing or two. Yeah, I know a thing or two, but I'm still a baby witch. I still don't know. I am by no means, like, 
anywhere close to feeling confident in my self in any kind of question asking situation. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I, I started my path um, in working in a metaphysical shop, so I think that gave me a little bit of a leg up on. Because you learned on, a lot right there, like you were on the yes. spot learning. Yeah. And at first I was like obsessed with the stones, did the whole obsessed with stones thing. And then now I, and then I got rid of like seven ninety, I think percent of my stones or something. Cause I'm like, I don't need this shit. <laughs> yeah. I have, see, I, I like stones, but like, they don't speak to me very much. Like I know some people they like really speak to, why won't you open it? Probably cause my, my bedroom's a disastrous mess. Just, uh, just putting that out there. I really need to clean it, but so I have, this is like all my stones. This is it. Pretty. That's it. That's nice. Yeah. That's about what you, I have too. You have a giant, like lapis. That's cool. Yeah. And I have, I actually do have a couple more. I have a, oh, I needed that one. Um, I have a crescent moon shaped, uh, clear quartz. Oh, that's cool. That I love. Maybe that isn't the one I want. I have a lot I of um quartz. Is that it? There it is. I know I had one. I have a lot of uh tumbled stones because when I'm doing like candle work and like candle oh, spell yeah. work, um, I'll actually like crush them up and turn them into a fine powder and I'll like roll my candles in them. Oh, okay. Okay. After um, like dressing them in oil, I destroy my candles when I get them. <laughs> I like carve hey, into them know, and then I just put so much stuff into them. I um I've carved a couple. Um I actually have a prosperity candle on my altar. No, success candle that I need to burn, but I started it and then never relit it. Uh so you know, kudos to me. Um <laughs> but I have found that I came across the same goddess as I was like learning and working. And so um, Chad bought me for Mother's Day or my birthday last year, um, like a 12 inch Hecate statue. Oh, cool. Uh, she's stunning. She's on my altar. Um, and so that's, I really like that whole three sided of three sides of every woman and for sure. I don't really personally resonate. really work with too many deities, um, but when I did and tried it out, Hecate was definitely like the woman or the deity that I turned I to. You. Oh. You cut out again. Am I back? Are you back? Am I back? I feel like I'm back. I think so, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. So I missed part of that. You said when you didn't, you don't usually work with deities. I don't, no. Uh, but when um, I, w the few times that I have, I have always like reached out to uh, Hecate as well. She, She's the one that like speaks the strongest to me as well. Yeah. She's the only one I've really resonated with at all. And I don't, really work with her a ton but she does resonate so nice she's on my altar and i give her offerings once in a while and you know i like it okay i work a lot more with my ancestors and the elements yeah i know my my great grandma was psychic that's cool um but my grandma was catholic and so she would always say, if you asked her about her, that she, well, she just knew things. Well, what do you mean she just knew things? Well, she just knew. And then she'd change the subject and like, or like walk away. Because uh, she, okay. she couldn't like, so I don't know the extent of it, but one of my aunts has always talked about it. And she is one that is um, on more of a spiritual path than a Christian path. So uh, she talks about, she's the one who taught me about it and would tell me about my great grandma being like, just knowing things. That's very cool. I like that. Yeah. I like how yours has a, 
your purple has like filtered. I know it's gone all the way up and stuff. My green did that. Oh, very cool. How is um, the near the edge of it all? Ooh, yay. Uh, my oh, bottom is still purple. quite wet. Okay. Okay. I love the purple running through yours. It's very, very vibrant. <laughs> it is. I love it. That's the point, right? Right. It's going to look so good when we actually like get the trees in there. Right. Oh, Theo's not having a good time. <laughs> Is it bath time or bedtime? It's bedtime. She's tired. So um, she had a pretty nasty cold. It was. It ended up being like a fever and then turned into like, it, it was a really heavy fever and a cough. So I was like a little worried that she had like COVID. But it, the timeline doesn't make sense because she just started going back to daycare on Monday. So it was like... But not this Monday, but like last Monday. So it was like, she doesn't even have enough time to like incubate it and then start right. showing symptoms again. Um, but then I ended up catching it. And then I was like, oh wait, no, this is not COVID. It's just a really bad cold kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then she got like a yeast infection all over her butt, which she's currently oh. like working through right now. And she had her one year immunizations today. So she had three vaccines as well. Oh, poor so, baby. Yeah, she's had a rough day. <laughs> but she's happy as hell. Um, just, she hates going to bed. Hates it. Well, if uh, if she'll take it, my kids will, my kids would sometimes when they were little, you can add a little apple cider vinegar to her water if she'll drink it. Okay. And it helps a little bit with the cold. Oh, that's um, nice. I don't remember when, is it one year they can have honey? Yes, so she can have honey. She was actually um, sipping on the drink, my drink too. That's, I was gonna say, I actually make the whole drink for my kids. Like even Rowan Little, like I'll make it for him, put him in the sippy cup, just not hot, obviously. Yeah. And they'll, they drank it and it would help a ton. Yeah, um, she, uh, she likes drinking out of like the cups and eating out of the plates that we are currently like drinking and eating yeah. off of. So um, you had to be a per like I'm. I was already sick, so I was like, "Yeah, here, kind of thing. You can have right. it out of me." Um, we bought because Ron likes that too. They make like little silicone like lids for cu regular cups and straws. So you okay. can give them a, a regular cup with a and they're silicone, so like you could put it in something warm. Um, I just got them on Amazon. They're just like these little silicone like they look like an upside down cup with a hole in the bottom, but you stretch it over top of the cup. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. Cool. So Rowan really likes that because it makes him feel like he's got, you know, an adult cup. Yes. Are we saying goodnight? Good night, my little baby girl. Miss you. I love you. Uh huh. Oh, and the cat scratched her. Like, she's got, like, this sweet scar thing. Oh, it's a poor baby. You had a rough week. Are you looking for a sleep sack? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. It's just hating me. Uh, Marianne is running late. Those are my paintbrushes. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I have a hairy husband too. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> yes. Good. Bye, guys. How is your painting doing? Uh, there's still a couple wet spots, but it's mostly dry. Right at the edge, the wet spots? Yeah. Okay. 
okay. It's a, this is honestly like the longest part of this painting is that um, the drawing. Everything else comes pretty quickly together. I need to hold this in. Huh. So is there like a like a fee to enter the coven of the witches of Raylor? No, but you have to be invited. Ah, okay. And I have not. Um, I had anticipated that I would at some point, um, but I don't know. Um, hey, Maddie, I'm here if I will or not now, like it's just kind of all kinds of questions. With COVID and stuff, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Hi. Hi, I am so sorry for being late. That's okay. I swear, I don't make a practice of this. No worries. Oh boy, that's beautiful. We haven't really oh, done yes. very much. Yes, oh, so we mostly God. just put, um, did the sky that's gorgeous have either of you ever seen it no no I it's on not. my bucket list of things though to see definitely tops on my list <laughs> oh damn get all your groceries in the fridge yeah, I, I, I am foregoing peeing for you guys. <laughs> you can go to the washroom. <laughs> no, 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 I want to get this. So can you, can I, I just ask quick, um, should I be wetting the, uh, should I be wetting the canvas to get that effect? Yes, yes, so up here, um, and then to the top, everywhere where there's color, I wet it down pretty decently too. Okay, so you just outlined your kind of snow. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I just did one of these and then That's just really nice. drew everything back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed with the accuracy and attention to detail in your spell paintings holy oh, moly thank you i mean are you working with an actual plant are you working with a picture i'm working with your picture. head yeah i have a reference picture wow i don't know which one was my favorite the cherry slash apple or the purple flowers the purple flowers the, that's um it's aconite um it's actually it's it's also known as monks hood or wolfsbane and it's like the most poisonous plant on the planet really it's so poisonous that um it's been like known that if people ingest honey gathered from the aconite plant they will actually become incredibly sick oh okay that's that was really cool it. yes so wet it okay. down and then once wet, um, grab like the brightest colors in your palette. So I started with the yellow. So wet your paintbrush and then pick up your yellow. And then just add a streak in there. What makes, what causes the Aurora Borealis? It Super is nice. magnetic uh, solar flares from the sun hitting our atmosphere. Is that what it is? It is. So when solar flares leave the sun, they travel through space. And once they hit our atmosphere, um, because of our magnetic pull, it usually is at the top and the bottom of the earth. And it creates the colors. Very oh cool. My. I had no idea. Yes. She's a teacher. I am. <laughs> I also really like the Northern Lights. 
a lot. So. Okay, so I'm doing some blue, but you, you have a like a really nice effect there. I don't know if you is that yeah. your blow dry effect? Um it is not. I just put blue on this very edge and there was a lot of space between um the green and the blue and it kind of just bled on its own. Oh, it's so nice. Wow. The trick to watercolor, man, is just to like let go and let it do its thing. Oh yeah, I got all philosophical with the last uh the last class when I was posting, I was like, it is a metaphor for life. <laughs> so I love that class, though. Let go of the comparisons, because you'll never be content. And let go of what you think things should be, and, you're, you know. I loved it. Um, we added the pink, too. So I you can pretty. add pink if you want, or you can leave it alone. It's your choice. Did you leave white spots intentionally, or is that something I should do? Um, I left white spots in between each one. Um, and then once I got all my paper, Oh, pretty! Wow! Oh, I love it. That's really nice. And then once I got all my paper, or all my paint, like my initial paint down, then mm -hmm. I kind of like took a, a wet, clean brush and just kind of mixed them together. And then added some more paint where I felt like it... So, Kate, how are we doing on dryness down there? Uh, the bottom's pretty dry. Okay. So now, um, if you want, you can wet all the white part. Now, Ian, let me know if you have any questions. I was thinking about something you were saying about the honey. And isn't it like you're not supposed to give kids honey under the age of one? I, I mean, he was older than that, but correct. Yes. I'm yes, not sure. Uh, botulism. Botulism. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. And that's not something that we would be, you know, in danger of getting as well. Um, it doesn't affect us adults as harshly. Um, okay. But pregnant women are also supposed to be careful with. Really. It's an, un it's an unpasteurized thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like raw honey. I think in store honey you're okay with, because that's usually made with um, high fructose corn syrup. At least here in the United States. Yes, here too. Yeah. Okay. But it's the good stuff that you're not supposed to give them. Yes. Which, <laughs> thank you, Marianne. I did end up contacting. Uh, oh, you did. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We're picking up um, some honey from them on Sunday. Oh, great. Is that my fault you need more honey? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm getting a three kilogram bucket. I'm not even fucking around. Wow. <laughs> is he yeah. asking, like, what are you going to do with all that? No, nope, no. Nope. I'm opening I up mean, a sugar like, shack. Honey, honey um, season is basically over right now. So I have to, like, stock up until next summer. Mm hmm. And drinking that through the, if you drink one of those a day through the winter, it helps keep you from getting sick too. Well, there you go. Sounds worth mm -hmm. it to me. Right? Okay. So once that's done, Maddie, or I'm sorry, um, Kate, then we are going to grab, um, I'm grabbing more, let's see what color. Yeah. Um, no, I don't want that color. I'm just trying to decide which blue I want to use. So when you wet the bottom, did you did you just go right up to the color, right? You didn't touch the color. I didn't touch the color, correct. Okay. Okay, so um, I you could either choose this midnight blue at the very bottom or this sky blue at the very top. I think I'm going to do a combination of both, actually. I think I'm going to mix them together. So, uh, Kate, just so I'm grabbing this one and I'm okay. grabbing this one and I'm going to mix them together. Just a little bit until I get like this kind of a color. So the top and the bottom, right? Correct. 
And we want to use um, very little blue here. You can t see that I'm like being very gentle with the amount of blue that I am including. And where I am adding color is more in like the crevices. So where it dips at the very bottom of that, I'm adding color um, because that gives it a natural, like clearly it's a depression look because right. all your shadow is going to end up there. How are you? How's your sky doing, Marian? Uh, Mine does not look like yours. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out what I can do to fix it because I'm just like having fun blending in the colors, but it's not really, I'm not really getting that Aurora Borealis effect that you guys got. Okay. How wet is your paper? Uh, I keep wetting it, so quite wet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so wet your paintbrush and then dip it into like one so of I your have colors. Like, like this, which is kind of muted colors. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, I would add just a second layer on top of that. So like, um, second layer. So dip in your paintbrush, make it mm -hmm. really wet, pick up a lot of color, and then just kind of dab it in that area. In like the, um, so like say your washed out yellow area. Yeah. Add in like some fun, um, like a line in there and just kind of let it bleed out. Add a line and let it bleed out. Cool. Let me know if that gives you some different results. Yeah, and it's much more saturated than kind of. Um, Perfect blended so then just continue doing that with all the colors because right now you have the uh, blended background so it will look more natural if that makes sense yeah okay so who is this today we are listening to Scott Bradley's uh, Postmodern Jukebox. So he takes like popular songs on the radio and turns them into like this 40s speakeasy feel. Mm -hmm. They usually have guest singers. Yeah. It's always fun when I find people who also know who he is. I'm like, yay. This is a man? Uh, the singer's well, not in this. Yes, the I think creator. he's the piano player. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was like, really? Wow. I believe. I that is be wrong <laughs> All right. So, um, Kate, like, that's all I'm doing to um, my snow area. I really want to keep it really nice and light. Is this like... Wow! Yeah. Nice! Yes. So, Kate, if you ever want to incorporate a little bit of magic into your paintings in the future, um, you can use tea instead of water and then, like, charge the herbs with your intention. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I've done that. I've also done a lot of sigils on my paintings. Um, mm -hmm. There's one on the back of here, actually, right here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is that? Um, it's a symbol that I created out of like an intention. So um, it's Laura Tempest Zakharoff's um, system for creating sigils. So um, I take a sentence, um, like my intention, um, and I forget what this one was for, but like say I was like, my intention was, um, I want to be like financially sec successful um, with my freelance career and able to pay all of my bills or something like that. And then I would take out the big keywords. So like financial success, um, freelance uh, bills or something like that. And then I would make a symbol. I would find a symbol that I relate to each one of those keywords. And then I put it all together into one solid symbol in itself. And then um, that symbol is, then I put it on like, I'll anoint, like you can anoint yourself with it, with um, like creams or um, you can put it in your art, you can draw it and like put it um, in your wallet. If I were to do financial success, I'd put it in my wallet. I would put it on my computer somewhere because um, that's how I make my money. Um, I would probably, um, you could like even like draw on yourself with a Sharpie or like an eyeliner or something like that. Um, yeah, so then um, they're like subconscious reminders. Like you're not thinking about them consciously on a level, but like when you see them, your subconscious acknowledges it and then like works to achieve that. I like what you said about intention. That's cool. I added the deeper colors and I think it comes out much nicer now. Oh, pretty. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that better how that's coming out. Could, could you explain again how you did that, um, the bleeding effect for the snow? Yes. Okay. So you can do it now. You're just going to need to leave a line in between because currently your top is wet. And yeah. if you wet the bottom and let them touch, then you're going to get this bleeding effect. So leave a thin line of white in between each one if you're going to go wet and wet. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So then you're going to wet the entire lower half. And then um, you're going to mix like a sky blue or just grab a sky blue or like a cobalt blue or something like that. And then um, you're just going to um, lightly add color because um, you want still to the white to appear through. So you're going to just lightly add color. And I added a little more color in these lower spots because um, they're natural. When something is lower, then it's going to collect more of a shadow. Does that make sense? Perfect. How's yours coming out, Kate? Good. Just waiting for it to dry now, right? Yeah. <laughs> no worries. I am going to be right back again. I have to blow my nose once again. Damn, that's cold.
And then Marianne, when you're done that, this is when I would um, break out your hair dryer and really um, dry it. Because I think that's the only way you're really going to be able to catch up with us. So since there's two techniques for hair drying, or in my amateur knowledge, there's like, you know, trying to get that effect of like projecting the direction and then there's to dry it. Like, do you face it upwards? Do you face it at an angle? Do you... I face it straight down. Straight down? Yep. Okay, I shall be back. Okay, perfect. And then um, we'll be able to do the trees and the tree line, the shading and stuff. And that's basically it. This is kind of a, a pretty quick painting. It's just the uh, drying time it takes a long time. Yes. Well, that's but okay. the results are so beautiful. It's chill. It is. Do you guys have bluey over there? Do you know what bluey is? Bluey? Yeah, it's a toddler show. Uh, we might. Um, mm -hmm. Theo's not at the age yet where I let her watch bad TV because I'm not willing to sit through right. bad TV. I understand. Yeah. Um, Bluey is not bad TV. Uh, okay. I've watched a lot of toddler shows. Um, and it's one of the few that parents are normal. Like they show the parents doing like goofy things. Like the dad will walk into the room singing, like oh, randomly cool. dancing through the house. Um, right. It's just a really cute show. But if, uh, I don't know, do you have Disney Plus? We do, yeah. Okay, so it's on Disney Plus. Um, so when she's ready, it's a great one to like start with. Also, Bluey and her sister, they're, they're both girls, but they're very non-conforming kids. Okay, good. Like they very good. much just let the kids be kids rather than like super girly. Um, which I love uh, and um, like there's one episode where they take the trash it's, it's a like a through the time where they take the trash out every week and so um, Bluey will say like can I, can I be a garbage man a garbage man when I grow up and the mom will say if you like and, and Bluey will respond with hooray and then the next week she'll be like um I don't know what she says. Can I be a, she says like four different things. And every time the mom's just like, if you like, nice. like whatever you want. Yeah. It's just yeah. very, it's a very cute show. I really enjoy Sounds it. I really enjoy how like normal it is because all these yeah. shows are not normal. It sounds nice and like progressive, but also like really grounded. It is. Um, I will also tell you that a lot of people I've read a lot of forums that people without kids watch it. Oh, cool. Okay. Because it's very much, it's from us, it's an Australian show. Um, okay. And it's very much like calming. And like, I've seen a lot of people with anxiety watch it. Um, it's just a really good show. So like, even if you and Josh sat and watched an episode, it's funny. It's good. Nice. No I'll children need to take a, I'll take a look at it for sure. Yeah. Because, like, both Joshua and I have this, like, feeling that Theo's going to end up, like, non-binary or, like, gay or bisexual or just something different. Like, just not, like, cis, you know? Right. Oh, oh okay. I thought we were just... No, nope, I thought you were frozen. Oh, I might, I might have been. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I feel we've always wondered about Landon but I don't know now that he's older um but it's just it's just such a very like comforting show for a long time we didn't realize that Bluey was a girl we thought Bluey was a boy oh awesome yeah I like that and then they said sister and we're like huh <laughs> <laughs> wait did you just say that yeah <laughs> All right, I am dry when we are all ready. Okay, 
Perfect. Well, How are we doing, Marianne? I'm just trying to eliminate that that space in between. So I don't know if it's bleeding it up or what I should do to um, make it more really seamless. You don't have to worry about it all that much right now because we're adding in that shadow. So oh, you um, are adding in the shadow. That's true. Yeah. So it's not really going to make much of a difference. Okay. That's good. So if we're all ready, then we're going to mix a dark blue, like, a, like an almost black blue. Um, so I am taking my number eight because I want to pick up as much color as I can. And I am grabbing this navy blue down here, putting him right here. So again, if you guys are struggling to um, take the paint off, just scrape it off the side. Um, and then I am taking um, a little bit of brown of this like terracotta-y brown, and I'm gonna mix it together. And that's going to tone down how bright that color is gonna be, the saturation. And then I'm gonna take black. Mix it until I get a nice deep dark color. Oh, she went down pretty easily. Oh, she's had a big day. All right, so I'm happy with this. Oh, I love seeing her coming in all scrubby and. <laughs> Why did she have a big day? Yeah. Yeah. Um. She had three vaccinations today. She had her one year vaccinations. Oh, they do it all in one shot? Yeah, pun intended. Oh, yeah. a lot of And like, usually they're in her legs, but today, I, I don't know if they get to the one year mark, they all of a sudden switch to her arms. Her arms? I thought they did it in the bum. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they, they've always been in the legs before, but this yeah, time, I don't know if it's because. Of yeah, the chubby little thighs, but oh, and the arm? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's because it's Quebec, but in Ontario, they always did it in the legs. Oh. And now, and they did it in her arm today. Oh, and, and like, it's so oh. hard because as, as a parent, you have to kind of hold them down, but then you feel horrible holding them down. And Yeah, but I'm also like, well, at least you won't get hepatitis B. So there's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so then once you have a lot of your colors um, uh, mixed, you're gonna take your thinnest brush, the thinnest detail brush. I am personally using a skirt brush. What are we using? Because I wanna get the same effect as you guys. So what are, you, are you guys using more of a brush that's like this? Uh, no, I have, you said a thin brush? Yes. I have a four. Um, I have a, I, this is a four. A round two. Okay, use your round two. And Marian, you're using a four? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll use a four with you. Okay, so wet your paper and then pick up your paint or your, uh, yeah, the paint and really load it up. But then um, do that scraping motion so it's not like a huge excess. And then I'm working this side over because if I work this side over, then I'm just going to sm smudge it with my hands because I'm right-handed. So we're going to start here and work our way over. So um, we're opposite. going... Okay, yes. Are you left-handed, Kate? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so first we're going to draw the trunk. I'm going to draw a line up. And then we are going to just add dots. So you're seeing how I'm just kind of like adding some dots and make sure that eventually it all. Um, 
comes down into an umbrella shape. And um, feel free, and we're, we're doing dots, and feel free to like leave blank spaces in between because it makes it more, look more natural. Like you see how there's a bunch of these like um, empty spaces where you can see the background through it. How are we feeling about um, that technique? Uh, it makes a nice uh, leaves. But okay. it, it's still too thick for the trunk. But that's the thinnest one I have. Okay. Um, do you have any with like more of like a tip to it? Like you see how this is more round, but then this one's more. Watch out this one. And then you're just gonna use the very tip. So then I'm going to um, do another one right here, and I'm going to make this one taller than the first one to give some variety. This one I'm keeping kind of thin. Mm. Let me know, Marianne, if that helps. Uh, well, so I don't know if it's by virtue of using the paintbrush to kind of do that, that you know, that uh, dabbing effect, but yeah, the chunk, the trunks are very, uh, it's very difficult. Like I find that it's hairy, like it's not retaining its point so it looks kind of okay. blurry so i don't know if i should just use the back and just do kind of an amateur -y thing i can use the back and dip that in the paint and just <laughs> you could try that for sure so i also want to point out that i am going up so i'm i'm gonna do a different so i'm i'm there that's how tall this is gonna be but then when I go to my tip, I'm actually going to put a dot above. If I could use like a mixed media, would I be able to use a pen or a Sharpie or no way? Eh? So uh, get that, use a Sharpie. That thin, yeah? Yeah. Will it all blend? Um, it might. You can honestly do the whole thing out of Sharpie if you want. All the trees. For like just a crisp, clean black. Okay, let's see. I am not against mixed media. Did you get better results with that, Marianne? 
yeah, it, it, I guess it was still too wet, and while the paintbrush didn't make it buckle, using the pen it made it kind of crunkle. But I will hide that okay. with leaves. And the next one was more dry space, so it seems to be okay. So there I'm just going to continue and then do it in the dip, like you did. Perfect, perfect, okay. And then, um, now that I have three spaced out, I just want to go in and show you guys that I am actually going to add another one right here and another one right here and it's going to be like that small i mean i have them kind of overlap each other it looks more natural when you have them overlapping each other this looks like hell. how's it going kate Okay. So I'm going to continue doing that along, alternating different heights, different thicknesses. So I think I'm going to do two big ones. Perfect Christmas tree. What's Ben building? He is building a a workbench. <laughs> He doesn't currently have a workbench, so he built me this absolutely beautiful laptop desk. Uh, poor guy was like bending over, probably breaking his back. Um, but uh, so now he has a, a work. He's building a workbench so he can build other projects. He's like super handy. Oh, that's awesome. My husband is handy for many things, but not. Not with tools? Nope. I use the tools in our house. You use the tools? <laughs> That's me too. <laughs> I grew up in a house where my dad built everything and, you know, had all the tools to use and my husband did not. So I'm the one that uses the tools. <laughs> that resonates hard with me. That was me too. But Joshua can fix cars, surprisingly. I was surprised anyways. <laughs> you can fix cars. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, his father kind of forced that on him. Okay, so then in this lower area, I'm going to make lower trees, smaller trees, shorter trees. That's what I'm looking for. So it looks like they're more farther in the background. And I'm going to go, I'm going to bring the um, leaves right up to the edge to make it look like maybe they're just in the background and you're seeing them just kind of break the surface. So there, these ones all have trunks that you can see, whereas these ones won't. Does that make sense to all y'all?
I'm glad you guys were able to find a baby doctor quickly. Yeah, um, we just ended up going to the CLSC, or CLSC. Yes. Do you guys have a family doctor, or do you just use the CLSC? We have a family doctor, and I think it's it's important because I know like maybe it's a guy thing, but Ben didn't have a family doctor, so luckily mine. Has agreed to take him on, but I mean, oh, yes, nice. what CLSCs are great, but I mean, you're even though they have a file and stuff on you, I, I think a doctor would be able to recognize different things. Like I was in a really bad uh, job situation, and she recognized a lot of the anxiety that I was experiencing just from having worked with me, you know, over the years. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're on the list to get a family doctor. Theo will get one way sooner than we will, though, because she's a priority. I'm happy for you. Is anybody else like super relaxed with the with doing these uh, these trees? I'm digging the trees. This is so like it's so fun to do them. I'm just so relaxed. Can we just mentioned that they're singing Pinky in the Brain right now. Yep, <laughs> I noticed it too. <laughs> what are you doing? I was like, what is happening? Oh, that's Pinky. <laughs> our latest plan well i hope so brain how much do we need about 182 million dollars oh dear oh well yes. we'll give it a try yes pinky are you pondering what i'm pondering well, i think so brain but me and pippi longstocking what would the children look like <laughs> no pinky we have to get back to the lab to plan for tomorrow night my brain what are we going to do tomorrow night steinberg bar mitzvah ah uh, and then the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. No. Yeah. You okay? Before the night okay. is done, the plan will be unfurled by the dawning of the sun. To take over the world. The pinky and the
So I find my trees like washed out quite a bit. Okay. Um, so you can go over them again with some more paint. If you find them, or if you're finding them washed out, then I would go over them with the second. Um, like that's what I'm doing right here. Okay. And that'll create like a little bit of depth too. Okay. This is Casey Abrams, by the way. And Haley. I love her voice. Mm-hmm. And um, Kate, when you're going over them again, really mm -hmm. don't worry about like load up that brush with some color. I actually just mix more of it. I found that because I use a dark color at first, I, I any other color I added on it doesn't show up. It just blends in. So I feel like I'm always complaining. <laughs> My trees don't look like yours. They look like short and stumpy and... <laughs> they are beautiful, I am sure. <laughs> You're awesome. Did you, uh, did you use the black Sharpie, Marianne? Amazing how they're combining all the different songs. I tried with the Sharpie, it, it just really stood out more and I wasn't able to get the leafy effect, so I just kind of gave up on that. Okay. So you just went with paint? Yeah. Okay. Um, on this one, you want like a really dark color, so I'd say if you made it dark to the point where you can't see any other colors over top of it, then that's exactly what we're going for. Okay, is it looking better now that you've added the second coat? Yes. 
actually just ended up using straight black. That works. So are you blending them now to get the shadows? Um, not yet. I actually like it, like on the second one. It's, it's really, it looks really misty and dreamy on the horizon there. Up here? I, I, like, them, I like them both, but for different reasons. Okay. Like it feels like, uh, it feels like the sunset is just starting. Like, so you feel like the sun is right behind us, was projecting all these beautiful shadows on the top one. And then okay. for the one underneath, it's like the sunset has already, you know, and they're kind of solid. I, I like them both. Well, I'm going to add um, the fun shadowy bits. So I think that's half the fun for me. But you can do what you want. You're painting, like I said. So if you guys are ready, let me know when you guys are ready to do um, start doing the shadows. I am not quite there. I've still got some more trees that I'm working on. Okay. Marianne, where is old uh, Montreal located? Like, what um, subway stop is it? It's the Place d'Armes or Champ de Mars uh, stop, play stop. So it's like at the mid end point of the orange line. The midpoint, yeah. Okay, so when it like like this area where it goes in the yeah, area? it's more it's more like east. Okay. We haven't checked it out yet, and we're planning to. Oh, nice. See what you're saying, Nadia. And though it like it looks pretty good without like those uh, the shadows, too. It does. It looks almost like uh, there's light from behind you, like yeah. when you're looking at it. It also looks like it's raining color in mine. It does because it's coming down in nice like even-ish lines. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead with the next because we only have about like I can't do math right now. We only have about a half hour left. 24 Roughly. minutes. Yes, thank you. Yep. So um, what we're going to do is we are basically going to really messy, um, like just add um, water. So um, in like spikes. So um, I will take that same shadow color but very lightly and I'm just going to add it in and you'll see what I mean when it starts filling in. So I kind of just added um, water. I don't want to connect these though. I just kind of added water 
in the exact opposite shape, but just like less detailed, more a little more messy. Um, and then I filled it in with that shadow color and I made sure that the trunks connected. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Okay, cool. So then you're gonna keep doing that. And you're gonna um, be aware of like, which ones are longer than the others and kind of match that in your reflection. favorite queen song all right now we all know that life is too short for regret so i don't want you to let fear stop you from doing anything so now i have one that goes to about here i know i will i'm gonna have a good time gonna have a good time gonna have a good time Hey, I need to watch you do one because mine did not work. Okay, so this one's shorter, so I put one out and then I just kind of, here, I'm going to get in pretty close. Okay, so I'm adding down my color right here, my water, and I'm just kind of okay and then picking up a little bit of paint and then just adding that in does that make more sense mm. kind of what i did before but it ended up too dark so let's try it again That work out a little better? Or a little better. If you think that you don't want to smile, and if it takes you just a little while, open your eyes and just look at the day, you'll see things in a different way. And I'm picking up like just the tiniest bit of color. And then um, in between each tree, I'm also cleaning off my brush so that when I do add more water, um, it's clean water. How's it going for you, Marianne? It's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I like the sky. I don't, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't like how my trees look. 
and uh, and I liked how the the snow was, but now it looks a little bit like water. I don't know. It doesn't have that delicate effect like you have, which is really cool. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I tried to be all artsy by having the shadows come at an angle instead of down. I don't cute. know if that was such a good decision. <laughs> I bet it's cute. I was considering doing um, the angles. But I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done.
How's yours look, Kate? It's doing pretty good. Good. Okay, I'm gonna untape mine. And again, when you're untaping, pull away pure paintings. Well done, Kate. I am. Yay. Oh, that looks so good. I love that. Good job. I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> 